Mr. Garrett said he'd give $100 Shut up. to... Shut Well, this looks like a job for me. I'm going to round them up and turn them over to their parents. No, you won't. I have a better plan, and you can help me. Have you lost your mind completely? This is Mrs. Vanderveer, our very best customer. Unlock those handcuffs immediately. Come on, give me that key. I've never been so humiliated in all of my life. Imagine locking me up in these things. Someone's going to pay for this. I'll never enter the store again as long as I live. Imagine a woman of my social position in this community being given such treatment. It's an outrage, I tell you. I call her Gladys. I named her after a girl I used to go with. Why? Because she was so slow? No, because she was bow-legged. <laughs> I do, Miss Pollock. Elm! You're beautiful. Huh? Who, me? What are you doing tonight? Who, me? Ma's taking me to prayer meeting. I know, but what are you doing after prayer meeting? Ooh. I'm awfully sorry. I want to see the owner immediately, Mr. Sutton. You'll pay for this. You'll lose your job. I'm very sorry, yes. Mr. Vanderbilt. We, Get we me try to go. rectify Harry, all the mistakes. Yes, Come on, where's the key? I can't find it. The meeting of the officers this afternoon to discuss contributing a part of this sum to the city for unemployment relief. And uh, you're the teacher, and I'm the truant officer. <laughs> What's that? Maybe it's a woodpecker. Oh. Why, it's Cicero Grunts. Oh, it's your little Abner. What are you doing here, boy? Oh, nothing. Just hanging these up for the sheriff. Don't you tell nobody you saw me with these papers. Don't fret yourself, Cicero Grunts. We won't. Wait, wait, wait! You have to kiss the bride before you set her down. Nay, there's some things I'll no do for two shillings a week. There, <laughs> <laughs> can't you find it? Oh, just you a think moment, I want to stand Mr. Vanderbilt. All day with these things on. Where is his key? I can't find it. Operator, operator, what's wrong with my number? How about my dime, operator? Pardon me, but is this seat taken? Don't be that way, little girl. Well, I can take you more places on a dime than most fellas can on a dollar. And they put muzzles on dogs. Five cents, please. Another dick. Gee, you guys are a pain in the neck to me.